Oh, hello. This is a bit sketchy, isn't it? Because like I'm doing some kind of like, I'm getting interrogated. I did some kind of interview. It wasn't me, officer. I didn't, I wasn't there on the day of the night. It was my twin brother, I promise. He was the one who stole the chandelier. Uh, hello. I'm scared. Hello. How's it going? Give me a second. I've really mucked this up. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Get a bit of room light in here. It's not actually that late, is it? Why, why, am I, why am I talking with an accent? Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I hold it like I'm a stand-up comedian or Hey guys, welcome back to- I, I was gonna record some toxics today because I like to make people think that I'm all professional on the YouTube and it's the complete opposite, it's just a mess. A lot of people in with this like, oh, good quality. Get people engaged with the, the production quality. And they get here and they're like, what did I walk in on? Like, there's just some kid in the bedroom. Get in the bin. Uh, welcome back to the vlog. It is a lovely Wednesday afternoon. About three o'clock, it's not that late. I actually woke up really early. I just, wow, okay, I got a good sleep, a good breakfast, and I had a good run. I call that the holy trinity. To me, that is like, that never happened. So I'm super happy. I don't know how. I woke up before my alarm. That never happens. I'm doing good today, lad. Cross it, dip. I thought, I've never done a story time before. I think of YouTube, you think of story time. Like, why Why haven't I done one of these? And then, little Max thought, why don't I do a story time? Then I was thinking, wait, hang on. Like, I don't really have many exciting stories to talk about. And then I remembered that I do. I, I have a few uh, that I'd like to share with an audience and talk about. You absolutely are really interesting interested in that type of stuff. So um, here's a few stories about my life, or here is a story about my life. And just a warning, you may laugh a bit too hard at some of these, um, judging that my really funny delivery of comedy. I actually sent someone like to hospital once because I laughed so much. Uh, it wasn't my fault they were asthmatic. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> all for the jokes, all for the, all for the laugh. Why is my life turning out? Ah, uh, it's stuck. Let me take you back to like 2000. 12? No, surely, what, 2014 maybe? I think it was 2000, I think I was 12. Oh, I was in year nine. Yeah, yeah, it might have been 2012 or 2013. It was, I was like in year nine-ish and uh, Max was just, uh, it was just a boy and I was on the swim team. I really liked swimming. I used to go swimming quite a lot. I still go swimming now, but I, I, I used to really want to be an Olympic swimmer. We all know how well that turned out. Hello YouTube. Oh God, obviously it didn't work out. He wanted to be a better swimmer. Unfortunately, Max was small. I'm talking like I'm in third person. I was small. I was a small kid. I'm fairly small. And uh, back then, Max was even smaller, funny enough. He was one of the smallest kids in my year. On the swim team, uh, everyone else was really tall. And when I went to swimming galas and everyone else in my club was really tall, especially in my age category, because I was quite old. I was an old man. I felt like uh, that was a disadvantage. Yeah, it got me, it got me quite upset. I felt like I couldn't compete. So I thought, how else can I get an edge? And I was like, I'm going to get buff. I'm going to work out. Stick to a diet. It's going to be good. I'm going to I'm gonna be the best swimmer I possibly can. Get all new PBs with this new diet I'm putting into place. Like, I didn't I didn't really know what working out was. Like, apart from swimming, I was fairly just unfit. I see if I can really push myself. If I'm going to go for Olympic gold when I'm older, what am I playing at? I need to improve. So, I told my parents, like, look, Look, come here, come closer. I do, I want to, you know, I'm taking this seriously. I want to, I want to get good. So my mum, she went out, she got some healthy food for me to try out. Not gonna lie, probably should have done some research before because some of the stuff I asked for wasn't even like, like, like it made no sense. Like bread, stuff like yogurt. Not really a fan of like yogurt back then, but apparently that helps. So I come home from school one day and I'm like, right, let's start this. I didn't, I, I ate a healthy food at school. I was like, I'm gonna, okay, good. I feel, I feel energized. I was like, yeah, this is sick. So. I had yogurts and chopped nuts in a pot, like a pot of chopped nuts. I ate the whole bowl. I absolutely loved it. I was feeling good until I wasn't. Because swiftly after eating the the nuts, uh, <laughs> uh, I started, it was like, oh, I feel something in my throat. I had like loads of water, like way too much water. Then I was like, oh, hang on, I'm gonna spit out. I didn't spit out. So I threw up in the toilet. And I was like, I don't feel too good. Great. And then I threw up again. And then uh, we got to the hospital. I don't actually remember. Then I don't remember anything until I was sitting in the waiting room literally swaying in the waiting room and then the doctor was like ha 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 you have peanut allergy i was like sick Sweet. You no, know, not only I'm asthmatic now and have eczema, I'm also allergic to peanut. How much more attractive can I be? Yeah, that was new news. Oh god, that's that was really embarrassing. Well, I have so many embarrassing stories. What happened to me? I, no, I don't have crazy stories. I just have really embarrassing moments in my life where I've done like really embarrassing stuff. But that's that's how I found out I had a peanut allergy. Not very inspiring story. The more of this story is just go to the doctors, um, read the labels and packages before you eat it. If you have a strange reaction to something, you should probably go. To Check it out. I'm really trying to find the point of this video. Don't eat peanuts. Just don't. I, d I didn't really do anything wrong. I just didn't know I had an allergy. I can't really learn anything wrong. Like, that. what? Just thanks to my mum for taking me to the hospital. Don't eat peanuts unsupervised. That's, that's, that's the don't 
eat peanuts without supervision. That's that's the moral of the story. If you want to hear more embarrassing stories or you want to hear anything more about myself, then <laughs> no. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you're new around here, well, I'd be very surprised. And this is your first video. My videos aren't usually like this. I'm usually actually doing something exciting. I'm not just talking about how attractive I am with my EpiPen. Thank you for joining me as always for this lovely conversation. Non-peanut allergy people don't know. We have a cult. Oh crap. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Keep it gnarly, lads. And goodbye. What?